Bro, everybody wants to play race car. I swear to God, every single person in this city is passing me right now. Not even going that slow. I'm literally speeding right now. I'm breaking the law. So a lot of people have probably been wondering where I've been at for the past year. Where haven't I been? That should really be the question. Zach, where haven't you been? I've been everywhere. I've been like coast to coast, wall to wall, treetop tall, doing everything. And now I'm out here vlogging again. I got you guys hear about the vibe. There was a virus going around. Um, people had a quarantine for that also was happening. I don't really recall 100% what happened with all that, but um, I guess there was a big pandemic happening and some sort of election. I don't pay attention to it much. I'm a simple man. Mama told me when I was young, stick beside me, my only son. What do we got planned today? Like, what are we actually even doing in this vlog? TikTok's been doing good. That's pretty much actually the real reason why we're getting back into this. All right, so this is gonna be a daily thing, and if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I got a large black coffee. I guess let's do, just turn that large black coffee into a, just a large, number seven. This is a number seven meal. Robbie, look. Right here. Buddy, we can quit our jobs. You can quit vlogging. We we'll just get a job here. We'll start a new career. This road even at, bro. What are you guys doing out here to me? You gotta be a little bit better, road crew. I think uh, in their defense, they're not technically the road crew. I'll drive across our construction site in my Camry. I won't get stuck. He's got like 265 horsepower. Yes, sir. This Camry is one B-A-D-A-S-S -S piece of American history. If I had to rate this thing on a scale of one to 10, I'd put it at a solid 7.5. People just want to see the real you, the genuine you. Be real. How cool is this? They're recording me, recording them, recording us. Philosophy. Never get a receipt in any situation. Just, you know, just always assume things are gonna go right. I think Aristotle said that. This is all the money I had in my bank account that I just pulled out. I don't care how rich you are, McDonald's hash browns are literally a top five best food of all time. Yeah. You seen the whole card thing that's been trending online? Like people selling Pokemon cards and sports cards. Thing though, my brother literally has a Michael Jordan card framed on his wall in his garage. It's real too. He doesn't know what it's worth or I don't even think he like pays attention to it really. We should go and get that thing and literally get it appraised. It would be a good idea. Oh I my would. god, look at us guys. We're actually vlogging. We're doing it, we're doing it, you're really doing it. Yeah, so we're going to get that card. We're getting it appraised right now. That's a genius idea. God, I'm so good at vlogging, Robbie. It's like a 1996 Jordan card. Ooh. In pristine condition. These little rascals, bro. McDonald's gave me a second hash brown. They must have knew that I was starting my vlog again. I got plans now. This is the first time I had plans in a long time. This is literally the first time I've ever had anything going on in my life. It's because this moment right here, getting a second hash brown, will be on my Instagram highlights by the end of the day. It really went out of their way. Show these guys what they're messing around with on my pink rocks. Lethal, bro. Stone cold killer. Don't mess with Can you imagine getting kicked in the face with a pink croc? I would have literally hang on my hat at that point. Like you've lost, your life is over. You remember Vine? That was a pretty cool app. You should have did more in your life than you should have literally been a rocket scientist. You're pretty much there already. I mean, I'm pretty much a rocket scientist already. Neurosurgeon, I'm a complete package. Video is completely gonna get demonetized now because I just played that. I literally might have the only Toyota Camry in mid Michigan. It's kind of a car that says I'm part of the solution and not the problem. <laughs> Robbie, you know what you and that truck have in common? What's that? You're both salty. <laughs> it was a salt. It was a salt truck. Did you even get the close up on it? Did you zoom in to roast? You want me to zoom in on your joke? I've been dancing for months and I just can't catch a break. I try so hard at TikTok, dude. Like, I literally feel like I could be the next Charlie D'Amelio if people would just give me a chance. Because nobody will let me dance. Let them dance. Like Footloose. It's like almost like dancing's illegal. They don't want me dancing because they know I'm too good at it and they know I take over the app. I just broke the cardinal rule. That's like the number Like I read up on all the rules of vlogging last night and like the number one thing you say you're not supposed to do 
is don't look into the camera directly and talk to it unless you have like a serious message like only you can prevent wildfires oh by the way if anybody's hiring can you please send me a message to my dms right now i'm looking for a job at least you don't smoke crack <laughs> at least i don't do that often that often <laughs> terrible can you imagine if i was a crack addict <laughs> i'd be like daily vlogging or something uh oh coming over the historic flint river baby I think Luke Bryan put this in one of his songs. Oh, totally drinkable, bro. I literally grew up next to Flint. I turned out fine. Nothing wrong with that water. Kids just aren't tough anymore. They can't handle a little bit of lead in the water. Back in my day, there was so much lead in the water. We, we, actually, we actually got lead for a treat. Like, kids today get cookies for treats and brownies and whatever. We, had, we got lead. All right, we're at my brother's house. Um, Probably, he doesn't even know we're here. We're just taking a Michael Jordan card. It's probably worth a couple thousand dollars. Um, but he doesn't know what it's worth. I don't know what it's worth. I've always been curious. Uh, we got some, finally got some context for this vlog today. It's a little trash. We literally, we have church service here all the time. So we, we, we have church service here all the time. So we got, sometimes we got some cups of pop all over the place if we get a little bit of Oh, his dog is super nice. He's got a pet on him. He's really nice. Alright, we got him. Probably should have turned this on. That's also in the top 10 things that you're supposed to do when you're vlogging is make sure you have good lighting. Messed it up again, Zach. You're such an idiot. No friend. Yeah, but check this thing out. Isn't this thing crisp? Look at that. It's framed in there. It's a night. Oh, 93, 94. I thought it was a 96. But bro, we're gonna take this old boy up there. There's a sports car shop right up the road. I'd be like Rick Harrison Constables. Yeah, let me call one of my buddies here. Let me, let me call one of my buddies here. We'll figure out what this thing's worth. Alright, so we're looking it up. And apparently this card here goes for like three to four hundred bucks. I'm not taking anything less than a thousand. It's uh it's closed. Oh, he's right there though. Let me go see. Oh, he's turning his lights on. Oh my God, we're gonna be his first customers. We're actually these guys. We're the guys that come in right as the door gets unlocked. Now it's open, look at that. I mean, it was closed a minute ago. He must knew we were coming. If, uh, let's see if it's worth anything. The greatest quarterback in the league right there, Matthew Stafford. Only $10? What a steal, bro. That's gotta be worth at least a grand. Let's see this up here. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Oh, you got him going all the way down. That card's about a five dollar card. Five bucks? Yeah, it's really? Not, it's, not, it's nothing major. Dang, it got our hopes up. It's just a base card, basically. Really? Nope, it's not that. Here's one just sold for two ninety nine. This card? Yeah, $2.99. They got a steal. <laughs> they probably don't have a cool case though. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess I'll hold on to it until its value goes up to $10 in 20 years. And uh, I'm take a look around though here because I might buy a card or two off you. Alright, I'm going to get one of those. Can I get this Hawkinson card too? Sure. Can I get DeAndre Swift's rookie card? Cool out of pack for you. Do we need to get a box? That'd be good content. I'll be one of those. Well, this, is dude. Ho this is Mahomes rookie year right here. Mahomes rookie year over there? <laughs> well, that might be the one, bro. We gotta get these ad, those ad revenues gotta go up. I'm coming back and buying a bunch of stuff. Well, cool, Les, I'll leave it to it, man. Yeah, gotta no get at it. $5, boys. That's it. That's all we were offered for this. This is a gem. This is a piece of history right here. Les is a cool dude. We got a pack here of uh, 2020 cards. Two autograph, what is it, two autographs or one autographs or pretend, I don't know, anyways, autograph cards. We're definitely gonna be unboxing this and hopefully we get something good. Hey, I'm, I'm actually here, I just went to Les's. I got AJ's Michael Jordan card graded. $20,000. No. No, I'm just kidding, it's five bucks. That's not funny. Yeah, no, there's, there's two, yeah, there's people with their nails and no, don't come back. If you're gonna be doing that. But all right, fair enough. I won't be coming in there. She doesn't want me to go in there, so I guess I won't be going in there. Give disguise and she'll never recognize me. Okay. I won't be there then. Somebody else will. 
somebody will take my place. My name is Stephanie. I come into your tan, I try to tan. But bro, she's never gonna know. I literally look like I could be a tail end with this thing on. Yeah, this is foolproof. Sometimes when life gives you lemons, you gotta squeeze it and make orange juice. I think that was Aristotle. That one was, that one was Aristotle, yeah, exactly. It didn't even work. The skies didn't, they knew exactly who I was, bro. I went in there so confident. I don't know what to say. I'm embarrassed. Quite frankly, there was a bunch of people in there. They were all laughing at me. Such an idiot, Zach. Everything you do, all your plans, they never work. Maybe they're just that rude to all their new customers. Maybe they didn't know who I was. Look at this absolute legend, bro. Is that a satchel around his neck? Oh. On his way to take my girlfriend right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're back now. We're gonna do the unboxing. We picked up this box of hanger uh, autograph cards here. It says it's got 20 cards in the pack. Apparently there's some in here that can be uh, pretty expensive. So we're hoping to get one of the really, really good cards like a Patrick Mahomes one. Uh, they're autographed too. Potentially have some autographs in there. So if we got an autographed Super Bowl year uh, Patrick Mahomes card, those go for um, a pretty penny. Uh, again, there's 20 per pack. Says there is going to be one silver, one mosaic in the pack. Uh, could be more, but it says that's on average, just one. Um, uh, reading through the back here, it says 20 base NFL debut, 15 base Hall of Fame, uh, 10 base Pro Bowl, and 5 base MVPs. Um, yeah, it says on average, non base cards are approximately seven in every pack, so we should have seven decent cards in a 20 card pack. Uh, brand new, it's got the plastic on it. We're gonna open this thing up, unbox it live right now. And uh, yeah, I guess let's get to it. See if we can do it without breaking the plastic. Is that possible? I think that'd be nice to slide back on there. And we have our close up cam here with it too. Uh, it's kind of like shrink wrapped on there. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, so it's like shrink wrapped. We're not gonna be able to get the plastic off without, without tearing it. It's pretty exciting though, like this whole card trending thing, like everybody's opening cards and finding all these crazy cards and I'm hoping that we, we strike gold here. Kids need a new pair of shoes. Alright, how do these things open? Let's see. Bottom here, pop open, it's not. Coming from the top, you do not. Coming from the side, you do. Bang, shows you how many times I've done this. It's actually my very first unboxing ever. So we got the full deck here. Um, it's got the factory tape on it. We got to pull that off, open it up. This is fancy. Look at this. Step your game up, solitaire. I never get decks like this. Crisp. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, also got a bunch of these card sleeves. And then we got a bunch of the uh, what are these top loader? Like basically like more more or less you get a good card, you put it in here. These little sleeves, so um, they stay good, and then you can sell them for lots of money. Either way, most of these cards, even if I get any good valuable ones, I'm probably just going to keep them and hold on to them. Uh, unless there's one that's worth like $100,000, then I'm going to literally buy the Bahamas and move there. So, alright, let's open this thing up. Let's open this thing up. Let's see what we got going here first. Lots of pretty cards in here. They all look nice. Make sure we get them all. Throw those bad boys on top. Okay. So we got some NFL debuts right on the top. Again, I know nothing about this. I know nothing about these cards. I can't tell you what's even going to be good in here aside from um, some Patrick Mahomes ones. So right off the rip, this is actually a good one. This is a good one for me because I'm a diehard Lions fan, unfortunately, even though they're not very good. We got a DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift is holographic too. Uh, this is probably, I just bought one of these today. Let me go and grab it. 
Uh, I ended up picking up some other cards because, again, Lions fan. I gotta have the DeAndre Swift in the collection. His rookie card, TJ Hawkinson. It doesn't say it's his rookie card, but on the back it's 2019, which if I remember right, he came in the league at 2019, so this should be. Oh, it does say rookie card. If you get the close up there, if it can focus. Right in the top right corner, see the RC? It is a rookie card. I thought it was, but I just didn't see it in big like the rest of them. We got a holographic CD Lamb. I believe CD Lamb is going to be one of the top receivers in the league here in the next couple years, even though he's on the Cowboys. Um, and then we got the rookie card for Matt Stafford. Matt Stafford to go. So adding the DeAndre Swift to the collection is going to be good. I'm going to go through and sleeve all these after the video just so we don't got to do it live time on the video. That would take up way too much time. Okay, DeAndre Swift out of Georgia, the Georgia product. Just like Stafford. Okay, Antonio Gandy Golden, Washington Redskins. Okay, what's this guy? Never heard of him. Hopefully he's something. Hopefully he's something. Do we got something? Bro, I couldn't even tell you who this guy is. Is that bad? I watched him follow football pretty good. Running back? I don't know. Anyways, let's make a little pile right next to this so you guys see him on, on camera. I'm not moving him off. Ooh, I like this one, Devontae Parker. Devontae Parker, nice hot. These are all like holographic and shiny or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, I just, I opened up the deck. I just seen a good one. I'm pumped to get further down here. Wow, we got a good one down there. Um, Devontae Parker, never give up on a talented wide receiver. The Dolphins are sure glad they didn't win it comes to Parker. Yeah, all right, cool, Devontae Parker moving on. Steve Young, let's go, baby. Steve Young? Get out of here. I didn't know he still played. It's 2020, but bro, this might be a really good card. We gotta look this up. Steve Young's one of the GOATs. And Rob Gronkowski right after. Bro, this could be... I know they said that there's some good value that could pop up in these packs, but I was thinking it was only gonna be nowadays players. I didn't expect to see Steve Young in here. Like, bro, that's something. That's something right there. Everybody get ready for this. I'm gonna look it up, it's gonna be like $2 they're selling for. I took a Michael Jordan card in today to get it appraised, uh, as you guys seen earlier in the video. Five bucks, can you believe that? Five bucks, we're gonna throw Steve Young just instantly into the protectant case because I I would imagine Steve Young is worth something. Bro, it's Steve Young, it is Steve Young. We gotta make sure we take care of this one. We're only gonna do this for the, the big cards that I have a really strong feeling are gonna be worth something. Unless these are like mass produced, watch there be like a thousand, or a thousand, a million Steve Youngs. And this one's just not worth anything. Okay, Steve Young, get him in there. Get him in there. Perfect shape. That's a PSA 10. I don't even know what that means, but I know it's something when it comes to grading cards. I'm just going to say it on every single card. That card's a PSA 10. Let's keep the Steve Young right there, bro. That's, I like that. Rob Gronkowski, okay. Very good, Rob Gronkowski. Over there reunited with uh, the old boy Brady and then back to back we got Mike Evans. Okay, fair enough, these are all sick cards too. I gotta do some research and see how many of these there were. It says number 193, if it could focus here, focus in, focus in, come on camera. Do your job camera. So I wonder if that's like 193. Yeah, it must be, it must be the 193rd. Mike Evans card, is that what it is? Steve Young, how many? 179, okay. Aaron Darnold, this is another guy that's gonna pop off. Oh, this kid, he already is popping off. This guy's insane to watch. He's gonna have an awesome career ahead of him still too. All right, Kyle Fuller, who's this? He's on the Bears, might as well throw this card in the trash. Ask Fuller to get takeaways and he'll lead the league in interceptions. Yeah, might as well throw that in the trash, it's Bears. Len Dawson, throwback baby, let's go. Back to the back to the two rings on the helmet. The two ring face mask. Dang, this must be pretty old too. Len Dawson, Hall of Fame enshrinement speech. Dawson lauded the city where the Chiefs plays. Lauded, that's a word, lauded, L-A-U-D-E-D. -E Some kind of quarterback. I don't even know what the heck that is, bro. But all right, we'll do it. Yes, I'm gonna add this in. I'm gonna live stream this over here too. We'll do this. 
Len Dawson. I have to look that up. Is that worth anything? I also just noticed I haven't scratched this mustache off yet. This mustache that I've been walking around in all these public plate. Perfect. We love it. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're doing an unboxing for everybody that's just joining in on the live streams. Uh, we're recording for the vlog, but we've got some good cards so far. We picked up some DeAndre Swift. We got Kyle Fuller from the Bears, Mike Evans. Uh, the one I, I'm most excited about here, this is the one I'm most excited about. Steve Young, baby. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I'm going to figure it out if it is. It's probably not, but, it, but boy can dream, right? Len Dawson, again, call me a young soul. I don't know anything about this guy. I know he's from back in the day. I recognize the name. That's about it. Set him over there. Leighton Vander... God, why do these people have crazy names? This is like my TikTok followers when I try to pronounce their names. I can't do it right. Light and Vander Esch. Is this what this is? That's what that says? Okay. What's this guy? Like he hunts wolves in the offseason in his native Idaho. Okay, I already like the guy. That's pretty cool. Uh, Lamar Jackson, let's go, baby. Let's go. Lamar Jackson. Guy's pretty good. Number 19. Is that number 19 total? I don't know. Guess we'll see. Uh, Eli Manning. Again, a completely garbage. This 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 card is complete trash. It's it's shiny. It's like holographic. If you ask me, this Eli Manning, I might as well just throw it in the trash right now. There's no value there. The guy won a couple couple Super. Can I talk? Can I talk, Zach? Am I able to talk today? He won a couple couple Super Bowls, but um, but he just won one Super Bowl. It was his defense that carried him. It wasn't even him. Uh, again, good for the trash. We don't need that one. Michael Thomas, let's go. Let's go. I'm pumped about every single card. Everyone's like, those cards are only worth 25 cents a piece. Let me have my moment, okay? Let me have this. Spent a lot of money on this box to open these. Okay, that might be worth something someday. I don't even know which cards are like the good ones, the shiny ones, or the specific ones they need to look like. Okay, next up we got Marlon Mack. Marlon Mack, didn't he get hurt? I think he got hurt this season. Didn't he get hurt? Yeah, he got hurt this season, so he's been out since like week one. But uh, good running back, picked him up my fantasy team, had a lot of high hopes for him. I thought he was a late late round snag, just a complete steal. And then, uh, boom, he wasn't, because he got hurt. Let's see what we got next. Jermone Bettis. Got a good one there, Robbie, this is a good one. A son of a Steelers fan waving terrible towels. Old school, baby, ooh, ooh. Let's go. I'm probably gonna put these in their little plastic covers here um, after the fact, too. Next up, we got the go, baby. Best run of all time, Marshawn Lynch. Hold my, no, I'm gonna say it. This is a kid's channel. This is a friendly kid's channel. Families watch this, can't say it. Marshawn Lynch, bro, one of the one of the goats of the one of the goats of all time in the NFL. Honestly, I mean, this guy is just a personality. Doesn't get much bigger than Marshawn Lynch. Love it. Um, we're gonna get all these cards appraised after we're done, anyway. Uh, for everyone on the live stream, by the way, yeah, we're opening up and unboxing the box we bought this morning. As we continue to grow and get more cloud guys, we're gonna get so, like tons of boxes. I love doing this. I, I drew a mustache on today, and I uh, yeah haven't done anything. To get rid of it because I didn't even realize it was still on there. Just started recording, and here we are. AP, let's go. He's a lion now. This boy is a lion. Adrian Peterson got game. What even is this? I couldn't even tell you. Number GG3. Is this is this worth something, card guys? Do you guys know anything about cards? Is this worth anything? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. JJ Watt. That's a pretty shiny looking card. Real shiny looking card. All the bedazzles on that thing. Isn't that nuts? JJ Watt, another got game card. Uh, I don't know what these got game cards even mean. I'll have to do some research into them and see if these things are even worth anything. They're even worth the cardboard they're printed on. Um, Isaiah Simmons, solid pickup. Solid pickup. Back here, some defensive plays. Players are so good that it feels like they're ever on the field. Yeah, Isaiah Simmons, the guy was insane. And last card in the pack. Last card in the pack, we got Emmett Smith, Hall of Fame card. 
Hall of Fame card number 288. When you ace a test as a kid, sometimes you get a gold star on your paper. You know, Emmett Smith, that guy, I'm like, uh, do I put that one? We don't have to do it right now. None of these cards are really getting messed up with their grading. But uh, yeah, lots of good cards. I think we got some quality content here with this. Um, yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all those different places. Follow me everywhere. All the links are in the bio. Uh, keep up with this. As we keep drawing, we're going to do a ton of unboxings. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on.